So you've been on Discord and you know there's something called a Discord bot. The only problem is you have no idea where to even begin learning how to create one. That was exactly my situation when I first started this project. I only knew how to code an Arduino, which is written in a completely different coding language than Discord is. But that didn't stop me. I still had the goal in mind that I wanted to create something in Discord, so I began my research. As it turns out, it was pretty hard to find a single video that could show you how to make a Discord bot in a short amount of time. I still managed to get this bot up and running, and I want to show you exactly how all of it works in a single video. My goal is to be a one-stop shop for setting up your bot, learning how to find more specific tutorials so you can achieve your goal, and getting you in the right mindset to learn how to do something completely new on your own. Actually, you're not alone anymore. You have the comment section down below, so if you have any questions, I can try to answer them, and the YouTube community will help you as well. Just post your comment down below and I'm sure someone will answer your question. Now it has been a little bit since I made this bot, so there's gonna be a lot of copying and pasting. All of my code can be found in the description below. If something's not there, let me know in the comments. So I think Discord bot should be about using code creatively rather than struggling to figure out how to string everything together. So I'm gonna break this video into two sections. The first will be about setting up your bot and then running a simple hello command so you can see how all the pieces fit together and you can have your very first bot up and running. The second part will be more specifically about how I gather data from YouTube's API and had the bot spit out my subscriber count on Discord. Now let's get started on your very first Discord bot. Okay, so first thing you gotta do is go to discord.com slash developers slash applications. And that will take you to a screen that looks like this. There probably won't be anything there, but that's okay, we're gonna make that. And then we'll also have replit open where you can type down all the code that you will use and uptime robot, which we'll, we'll get into it later, but basically it will keep this server up so that your bot is always active and it's all completely for free too so first thing you want to do is come over here and then hit new application and then call it whatever you want and then since i already made it bot testing i'll open that so now there is a lot of information on here so you can choose an icon i chose this picture and then you can name the project whatever you want and now go to bot and then on here it should say add bot or create bot and then confirm everything because you are making a bot so for the username this is where you actually name the bot so I did bot testing and then this token is going to be very important um, it's basically a password to get access to your bot so don't share it with anybody all the YouTube channels say don't share this. I'm not entirely sure why, but it's better safe than sorry. And I, you will eventually see my token for my bots, but I'm gonna regenerate it after. So if your token gets out, then you can always regenerate it and it will reset everything. And now, let's see, go down to bot permissions, and then hit administrator, and that should save everything. And next, go to OAuth2. And then here, you're gonna go to bot, hit the check mark, and then bot permissions, also go to administrator. And then copy this, and then open it into a new tab. And then you can select the server, and then go through all the menus. And then once you open Discord again, it should be logged on over in the right. So right now there's two. One of them is the original bot I showed in the beginning of the video, and then this new bot um, came up just now. So let's close out of that. And I have all of the code I'm gonna use for you to copy and paste. Um, it looks like I'll actually just share it here. So I'll post it, give it a title, and then put that in the description as well. And as always, if you guys need more information or want to know more about the specifics, then just let me know in the comments below. So let's see. 
here's the bot tutorial and here you're going to import everything this basically means you access all of the already pre-built functions and then here it's bot functions so this is where you enter in um, the custom help function to if you add any more functions they will appear here and then this um, sets up discord so that when you put the exclamation point then it realizes it's a command and this allows us to the, do the custom help function and you can change that to any symbol you want now for here this shows you that let me just stop it um, the first time you run it takes a little while but when you hit run again it prints logged on there you go when it logs into discord and let's keep scrolling through here um, this means you're registering it as a command async means it's asynchronous so there's a clock constantly running and asynchronous 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 there you go that's a mouthful um, goes no matter what the clock is at so it will put itself first and run way faster so when you want to make a new function all you have to do is type this in and then change that to the name of the function and then this right here will print out what you want to say so for example I'll go to discord and then I'll hit hello and then send and then it sends greetings so also if you want to text anything make sure it is in these quotations or apostrophes and then here is the custom help command where you call it help and then it will send this message and then this basically loops through all of the functions you had in the array up here and it will print it out as a string so let's try that one too and as you see there are two bots here that have the same function um, if you're just making one bot that probably won't be an issue so this is for the other bot that I showed earlier and this is the help function for this bot now let's go and see this function right here this makes sure that if the bot says something it just skips over it and now we have this so this keep alive function is what this file is so I actually got this from another tutorial online I'll leave a link to the description it's a very in-depth video it's about an hour long so if you want to make a more in-depth um, discord bot then go there definitely but this is just for getting your bot set up up and running and now let's go back and this function right here at the end it will tell the discord bot that this is the code it wants to run now os get environment and token means it will go to this environment folder and get this token so now if you go back to this page and go to bot hit copy token and then come over here into your code and copy and paste that token here so that's where you enter in the password and then hit run and it should all work log in we're on a few test functions and that should be good to go if you have any questions let me know in the comments and go through this video again feel free to pause if you want more well if you want more <laughs> um, information just let me know in the comments and I'll get back to you so there you go that's the hello bot just kidding that was not it <laughs> I just realized that so we forgot to go to uptime robot so this is a free service that will ping a website if you set it up correctly so just go to up uptime robot.com make an account get everything signed in and then hit add new monitor and then for monitor type hit HTTP HTTP and then call it the name of your bot so I'll just do this and then come over to your code and then this link that pops up here copy and paste that 
because we want the computer to keep that website up. So this code right here sets up this over here and that is what is keeping this program to continuously run. So now we copy and paste that here, create monitor, and then it should be all good to go. And then over time, more data will build up to show you how long it's on and everything should be good to go. Now, for real. <laughs> so keep watching and I will continue to improve on this bot as well. Now, before we continue, I wanna give you some advice about the whole coding process. Coding as a subject is a very difficult topic to wrap your head around, especially when you're just starting out like me. And it's important to stay persistent and keep working towards your goal because a lot of times the solution is right around the corner. Also, it can be tempting to try to do everything from scratch, but if you can build on past discoveries, that gives you an opportunity to take them one step further. Now I'm gonna take this bot one step further and connect it to YouTube's API to get subscriber data for my channel. But first, I just wanna say I entered this video along with an article to an Instructables contest. So if you enjoy your bot so far, it would mean a lot if you could vote for it. Link in the description. Also, my goal is to hit 1,000 subs before August this year. And I'm a high school junior, and my goal is to get into MIT. I've been making educational videos like these since seventh grade, and I would greatly appreciate it if you could subscribe and help me reach that goal. Now, let's get into it and take this bot one step further. All right, we made it to part two. So now I'm gonna take this one step further and basically convert the bot into the sub count bot. So all I did was copy and pasted all of this code into the new folder uh let's see here we go main.py and then for the environment variables the only thing that changed was the token so i'm using the same bot bot testing and i'm just reusing it with a different set of code now so in order for it to work make sure you hit stop on your other um code and if you're making a new code, so like if you have one piece of code for part one, one piece of car code for part two, stop part one and then continue with part two. So now we'll go back here and just make sure everything works. So it should be the same. Okay, cool. Now, let's see. Uh, keep alive is the exact same. And then on the original code, I have old code that I had. This is my first attempt at writing everything. And then I asked a friend if, what did he think? And that's where I got these way more efficient commands. So I recommend just using these. And if you wanna know more, let me know in the comments below. There's something called a library where you can look at all of the different functions. So. If you let me know in the comments below, I will give you a link. So let's go back here and then reading through. Most of the functions are pretty much the same except for get channel data. So as you can see, we have a few more things at the top and that actually comes from this new tab up here where you go to console.cloud.google.com and then you can go up here and then it might look a little bit different. There's a lot of stuff on here. So basically just try to find a menu where you can hit start new project. And then once you're there, it should open something that looks like this. And then go to enable APIs and services, look for YouTube, and then go to the data API. And now since I already have it enabled, you would click this blue button here that says enable. So I'm just gonna go back now. And there's a lot of stuff on here. So go to credentials now and then generate API key. I believe that's what it's called. And then eventually it will come up here. You can click copy this key and then take it over here and copy and paste it here. And then for channel ID, 
I just looked up my channel and then it was the last part of the URL. If you want to use your channel, then look it up there. And if you have a larger channel, this might change the URL. So just go to the Creator Studio. So now that we have all of that, hit run, try everything out. I think it should be good to go. So if you want to take this even further, then you can always add more functions or look up more specific tutorials and just try to find people who have already done it for you. But if you go on the links in the description, then this will give you a great starting point that I've already been through the ropes to get everything set up. And then one more thing, go to Uptime Robot and get everything up and running. So it should be good to go. There we go. So the reason why this says down is because I turned it off so that part two would work. So there you go. And if you have any questions or if it's still not working, let me know in the comments below and I will help you get it sorted out. So let's just test it one more time. Refresh and there we go. Awesome. And that's how you do it. And that's my Discord bot. So if you enjoyed the video, learned something new, or finally got a Discord bot working, congratulations, and go ahead and hit that subscribe button below. And if you still need help or want to see more specifics on how I made this bot, let me know in the comments below. And the Instructables article is live, so if you could go ahead and vote for that, link in the description. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope you get that bot working. I will see you next time.